oh, y'all ain't gonna like this. People gonna be like, man, it's it's too late for this shit. Now you, you look, y'all got y'all bringing up movies now that I gotta read. <laughs> you know. <laughs> This is something that got the Palm d'Or at Cannes, mm-hmm. or is it Cannes? More than I know. I, I think Cannes. Can. I'm gonna go with Cannes. That sounds fancy. Yeah, they, they they act like they the last E and S aren't there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, that's right. They're fancy artists over there. <laughs> they got the Palm d'Or at Cannes. Martin. Only a philistine would pronounce the last two letters. But of course, Martin, we are civilized Negroes here. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, no. no. Plus, a lot, a lot of years, it seemed like they just hand out those palm deal orders to anybody. Yeah. And now y'all you got a pre- film here? Here, take one. Yeah. And y'all heard this, because when we say the palm de or, and y'all talking, oh, this is some old uppity French shit, some old European bullshit. Nah, man, no. this is no, this is South Korea. They're like, oh, shit, we got karate? <laughs> <laughs> monsters? They're going to be put, yeah, they got your monsters and karate, and they're going to be beating up people and guns and Ghosts. kung fu and. Bitches walking out of TVs and shit. No, 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 none of that. No, 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 no. Wait, no. wait. It's got that train that goes around the world. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, none of that. None of that. No. But it does have a lot of broke ass poor people in here, man. I, 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 I gotta be honest with, with all the hype that was going in this movie. I thought for sure it was a, a horror movie, something with a slasher or something supernatural. I was, yeah. I was not prepared for it to just be about people. You know what? I'm just going to show the trailer. Since we're talking about none of us are prepared for this, we're talking about the movie Parasite. Oh, shit. This is where a creature crawl up somebody's ass right. and tickle their mind. <laughs> and walking around, killing people because they can't control them. <laughs> you know? No. <laughs> no, them Koreans crazy, man. No. No, no. It is not that. This is uh, this is more. And even though this is uh, uh, a South Korean film, this actually has a lot to do with something that's happening all around the world, and especially, <laughs> yeah, especially in this country mm-hmm. here and right now. Oh, uh, what what Korea know about us? <laughs> <laughs> more than you want more, them to. <laughs> more than more than we all would like to know. Let's go ahead and take a look at this trailer for Parasite. Now, keep in mind, as I said, this is a foreign film, so therefore, it's not dubbed over in English or anything. Mm-hmm. People are like, why? Because your ignorant mother, we want to keep it in its purest form. <laughs> Because that's the way the director wanted to be seen. <laughs> so you're gonna if you, if you're listening, go and watch the trailer on your own. Where you have the subtitles because uh, there's no English here. If you're watching, yes, you're gonna have to read a little bit. Let's go ahead and watch the trailer for Parasite, and we'll be back with our review. <laughs> now the director here, you might have heard of his name <clears throat> if you're a fan of. Uh, of cinema and the foreign cinema, especially uh, this, the director of this is Bong Joon Ho, and he directed a movie. I think it was back in two thousand six. He directed a movie called The Host. Mm-hmm. So y'all are saying, well, shit. If he directed a movie called Parasite, that has to be uh-huh. a prequel right, <laughs> to right. this. Yeah, something uh, with a creature. Or at least a sequel. Come on, where the monster at? Corey, what bullshit? <laughs> 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 nah, man. He's with you. <laughs> there is no there is no creature here Mm-mm. at all Get unless that. the creature that you're talking about is this broke ass scheming ass family that got in this <laughs> these are the parasites uh yeah. you know the um uh, you know I, I will say though that now what this movie does take from something like uh the the, the host it takes kind of a hint of the the family theme yeah uh-huh in that movie, you've seen the host. Yeah, yeah. Family played a big part of that, and they kind of have a the the, the the dynamic of family that kind of similarly plays into this film here. Also, what we're talking about as far as this relates to what's going on in this country and somewhat around the world, it also takes uh, it's taking themes from some of his best movies. Uh, it also takes the class warfare theme from something like Snowpiercer. Right. It was the rich and the poor riding on a apocalyptic train. You. You know, of course, the uh, rich people up in the front, poor people take your ass to the back. And eat these jelly crickets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and shut up. <laughs> and with this, uh, with, well, with Snowpiercer, a lot of people know that movie because he used a uh, lot of familiar faces to Americans. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, uh, what's their name there? Uh, uh, uh yeah, shit in a pie. You know, <laughs> wow, Octavia Spencer. Thank you. I kept going thinking Olivia. I was like, that's I know. Right. I was thinking Olivia Wilde the whole time, mm-hmm. and they're like, no, that's anything but. <laughs> uh, also, uh, Captain America, Captain America, and a few other people that were that that you know, 
The Throw me your face to it, too. The ancient one in there. But yeah. <laughs> Pretty much all the Marvel heroes just riding on this train. Everybody survived the apocalypse. Uh, but they bring that 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 class warfare into this film too. And the as I said, the parasites here, not any mutant creatures, not any monsters. Well, maybe in a way, as I said, you know, it's this human nature. The, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's it's just this, this broke ass family of con artists right here. Who for some reason, this is what this is what makes me laugh. For some reason, they can sit around all day scheming on how to get by on people, but they can't even afford a. Uh, they can't even. Uh, they can't even fold a, uh, a pizza box. Yeah, correctly. Correctly, that's one of the many one of the many odd jobs that they have to find because they got nothing going I mean, on. Yeah, when you introduce his family, you go like, "All right, they are broke and they're chiselers, always trying to get a little extra, little just a little over on somebody." It's not until things kick off that you realize just what schemers they are. Yeah, man. Seriously, they. I mean, and I don't, I don't, I don't blame them for for trying to figure out a way to get out the ghetto, you know. Because <laughs> because when you look at them, man, they. I mean, they 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 ain't they they are poor. Yeah, they ain't poor. Mm-hmm. Poor because they live. I mean, they live in squalor, man. They live in this. They live pretty much in this like cramped, a, dirty apartment with these low ceilings. Yeah, it's like a basement apartment. It's almost like a this shit is practically a basement. Yeah, <laughs> they live. They uh, it's like it, the shit is so low that the toilet is high. Uh huh. So you know, yeah. the, the toilet the is toilet higher than they up. are. You're right, right. <laughs> yeah, it sits up by the window. People come in around fumigating. They getting poisoned. They just glad to have it because they like you know oh, what? It gets rid of the roaches. It gets rid of the roaches and the stink bugs. Yeah. They uh the, the the best view that they got every night is a dude coming and pissing on their window. Mm-hmm. They live in complete squalor. It is it, I, I I don't blame them for trying to get out. I, I yeah I, exactly. Look looking at how they live, it's like well yeah of course people like this are going to be desperate. It's interesting because because they talk about how hey man how's your family Psh, unemployed <laughs> yeah they sit around just trying to look at their phones all day. You don't see them trying to get work. So it's a question of are they lazy. Or is it just no jobs out there? So they're like, why even try? I, I think it's probably a combination because they are trying to get, get jobs. I mean, they are so broke that they can't even afford internet. They, right. <laughs> they go around their house trying to find where they can actually steal internet from uh-huh. other people to the point where they just get into onto crap ledges in the bathroom mm-hmm. so they can, they, can get, they, they can just get somewhat of a signal. <laughs> Yeah, Kim Gite. Oh, you're you're kicking my ass. <laughs> <laughs> he all that faking. You see him scratch his yeah. butt cheek real quick. <laughs> Look at that toilet. The toilet got more Way social status there. than yeah. they do. <laughs> yeah, man. It's uh, it, they actually had to like go around his house. And you see how cramped it is. You see how crowded it is. Uh, it, you know, you don't blame them for trying to get out. And luck kind of takes a turn for them when the son, the son in the uh, in the family, his name is Ki Woo. He has a he actually has a friend who has his shit together, <laughs> who's in college. He's actually uh, t- he's 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 uh, he's teaching a, a, a tutoring this high school girl of a rich family, the family called the Parks, and he also has a thing for this girl. But being that he has his shit together so much, you're like, well, I'm gonna go out and travel and see the world a little bit. Yeah. But I don't want listen. And the kid's name is Ki Woo of the poor family. He says, Ki Woo, look, man, you my buddy. Look, I don't want these, you know. These horny ass frat boys. Well, horny ass frat boys come on here trying to trying to get my shit that I'm trying to like hook up with. Uh, why don't you take the tutoring job for me? You can you look. You can pass yourself off because you're smart. You 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 you. In the military, you practically taken the courses that I have, and you can get by with some fake documents. And by the way, y'all a bunch of card artists anyway. Yeah. You'll be able to handle that very well. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the way, don't get your friend to watch a girl that you like. Exactly. <laughs> you know, that, that never works out. I was like, I, I, I hope Ki, what's his Ki name? Woo. Yeah, I hope Ki Woo is gay because otherwise this is not going to go well. <laughs> Ki Woo says Ki is not. <laughs> right. <laughs> Ki is very straight. Uh, but then this is where the, uh, the parasite aspect of uh, the movie comes in. Because at this point, when Ki Woo goes in to take this job, he looks at the house, he looks at the family, and he just sees uh, all this wealth around him. And he figures, why not get the why not get the rest of my family in on this? Get, mm. get them paid too, and they strategically start to and methodically start to go in and scheme their way into taking the rest, like the the the, the maid, yeah, the driver, 
uh, even faking the, uh, all these positions that that don't even exist, they find a way to displace these people mm-hmm. as they come in. It's, uh, uh, it's almost like a mockingbird in a way, where it lays an egg in a, in a nest and it just pushes all the other eggs out. Yeah, yeah, uh, and. Yeah, and so Google. that you know, that's where the parasite aspect comes in. They are leeching off this family when they shouldn't be. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and you, you're just watching it go down. It's, um, I mean, there's something that kind of genius <laughs> in the way they're doing it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and they're working with rich people who are either naive or, or gullible or just not around a lot, or, yeah, uh, aloof. So it's it's you know it's easy enough for them to do that. But the thing about this family is the reason we start out. If they're so smart, how come they were so broke in the beginning? Because they're stupid. Yeah, <laughs> these are these are these are really dumb criminals when it comes down to it. Yeah, the, exactly. This shit gets blown up <clears throat> so unnecessarily. So what starts out as a as a as a funny film? Yeah, it starts out as kind of like a dark comedy. Yeah, yeah, but it gets much darker. Yeah, and and we see it take. It starts out as kind of a dark comedy, and it takes an ugly, dark turn mm-hmm. at some point. Uh, and, and and we see the ugly side of both ends on the class struggle. Uh, and most of it, most of this is from the poor family, actually. Yeah, because like you said, Martin, for one, if they had the energy to do all this scheming, you know, and, uh, what, what was to keep them from finding legit work? Exactly. I mean, I'm not even talking <laughs> about this, like I ain't even talking about being rich. Just finding legit work. Le- le- legit work, so they don't have to live like cockroaches. This, all of these people are such con artists to the point that I kind of admire their creativity. Uh-huh. I'm like, damn, that was kind of cool the way uh-huh. you put that together. How come you can't do it for something legal? <laughs> you stupid mother... <laughs> you know, it, yeah, because they the, the minute they get set up, they get way too comfortable. Yep, and that's the problem with this family because it's hard to feel sorry for them mm-hmm. because while you sympathize with their poverty, they're displacing other people mm-hmm. who also are on the lower class system or the lower end of the class system and need their jobs too. And yeah. they don't give a f- And it's one of those movies where it 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 makes you flip allegiances back and forth because I felt bad for the rich people. I'm like, man, they didn't ask for this. Yeah. They're being nice. But there's, there's a point where you kind of go like, yeah, but this this disparity of wealth, is the gap is too great. Like we talk about it here, you go like it's interesting to see yeah. it somewhere else and go, huh? Is this our future? Hey, listen, you know this. I look at this family and it, you, Martin is right because I, I I'm I felt bad for this family and I was kind of like, man, I don't feel sorry for them because it, it's when they actually start to really work their way in and they are and they're settled. It's only a matter of time before they fuck that all up. Mm-hmm. Cause they 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 because they, they ain't got enough common sense to keep a good thing going. Right. You know that they were ruining. <laughs> they they're smart enough to get it, too stupid to keep it. Yeah, you know what I mean? these are the kind of motherfuckers that actually win the lottery and lose that shit in a week. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying all of it. Even if they did everything completely right, it's still not that straightforward. There is another darker secret here yeah. that it would come in. No matter how much they tried to, to plan this correctly, uh, there's a dark secret that would throw everything off. And that's a common theme in the movie. If you watch it, you'll notice that the dad keeps talking about You hear the word plan yeah, keeps coming the, up. Yeah, the dad, he's got a plan. Yeah, they always talk about plan. My son has a plan. I don't know about plans. Plans never work. Get a plan together. You know, they, they ain't got no plan, even when they think they got one. And even if they did... Life itself, Life itself will yeah. come in and There's ruin already, the plan. already things in play that they don't know about. Yeah. Now, as we're talking about with the with showing the ugly side on both ends of this class struggle, the Parks, the family that they're coming in and working for, you know, they got their shitty rich ways too. You know that 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 wife in the family, that wife is so insulated from everything outside the world, so insulated with privilege. She just stupid. Yeah, she don't. Yeah, she don't have to use her brain. She's naive and she's gullible, and a lot of this she does, she doesn't question like she should. And that's why it's so easy to go in and, and it, it, you root. That's that's the only reason why you kind of root for the poor family because these people are just too stupid to realize it. Or if you're like the dad, Mister Park, you know you just you had you can afford to just ignore everything yeah, he's else. Yeah, just up aloof there. and gone a lot, and and when he is present, he's just like, man, you ever. Smell the poor, but yeah, yeah, exactly. Like uh, when he starts talking that shit, you like, you know what? <laughs> yeah, I man. see why they, why they why they doing this to you. Yeah, f- 
fuck you, man. You know, you look at this movie just called, you know what, fuck all y'all, man. Yeah. Shit. Ain't nobody here to root for uh -huh. at all. It's not. <laughs> but I will say that they show you what the movie does well is that it shows you both the dark side or the unpleasant side or even the good side of yeah. this of the of, of these people. And it usually comes down to family. Yeah. These families support each other. True. Uh, you know, no matter how shitty they are in their own rich and poor ways, mm -hmm. they do support each other. And it kind of and, and that's why it's really hard when you start to root against them. You don't find them as really terrible people. Uh especially Mr. Park, the rich guy, because you see him with his kid. And he is adorable with his kid, yeah, man. He yeah. will do anything for his kid. Mm -hmm. There's a moment when his kid is, his dumb ass is sleeping out in the rain. And the dad, instead of going saying, boy, get your ass back in the house, uh -huh. he says, you know what, honey, let's just sleep on the couch and watch over him. Mm -hmm. It's like, man, you know, the, it's it's really something where there, it's 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 a it's, it's a complicated movie as far as morals go and how you root for and against people. Yeah. And I thought that it was well crafted that way. As you watch it, it does, it it's a very slow build, and I love the way all, all these things come together. I love the ending of this movie, man. And yes, I'm going to tell you something that might be a, it's not even a spoiler, but I would just say this. It might be for some people, but it's not. It, things do get a little violent. Yeah. I mean, there's so many different things in play. I would say it's almost like a French farce in that you got one person coming in and somebody trying to hide. Uh and 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 it's it's constantly going on. It's like a like a like a choreographed ballet, but so many different things are in play. And it's got as the movie's gone on, it's gotten uglier and uglier. And you're like, when this breaks, it's gonna be bad. Oh and, yeah, and <laughs> it, it, is. It, it is. It is. It, it, like like yeah. you're like like you're watching. It's like, well, this has all been a drama. I thought something that played at at Fantastic Fest and and this director would would be violent. Just wait. Yeah. You just yeah, wait. Yeah. Yeah. If you want blood, you are gonna get it. But what I liked about the violence here is that the violence is, I keep using this as an example, and I'm sorry if it seems like I'm picking on this person, but he got money, I don't give a f what I say. It's not like a Quentin Tarantino it's movie not. where it just turns into graphic, gratuitous, senseless violence. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's not, it's not funny. And it leaves an impact mm -hmm. emotionally, yeah. and it leaves an impact on the story right afterwards. Yeah. It happens so that it, you know, it leads to uh, a consequence yeah. at time. the end. And I, and it's that consequence where they wrap up this story, and I'm like, man, you know what? It's almost it's not really good, but there's a beauty to the way all this right. wrapped up. Yeah, man. I was gonna say there was a certain poetry in in the very end of it. Yeah, that's I mean that uh, as story wise, it's, it's amazing. Now, as far as uh, some of the other things that go on with the movie, some of the uh, uh, let's just get like to the you know like I said, art direction here, boy. Uh, the movie looks great. The movie looks great, especially that house. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Don't you want that house? <laughs> Man, that fucking house. I couldn't blame them for being parasites up in that bitch. Martin, if you ever get a house like that, you better get security. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be living the walls. I'm breaking that shit every night, man. This house is amazing, yeah. man. Yeah, it is. They always talk about the architect that built it. Uh huh. And you can tell it's a badass architect because it's, it's not only is it very modern, but it's spacious. Mm -hmm. yeah, I feel like I'm trying to sell this, and I feel like a real estate agent. <laughs> You know, it's a great, great, great place to raise your kids. <laughs> great yard. Now I heard there was a murder here. Yeah. Oh, what? Hey, uh, Korean uh, ghost story. I wouldn't pay attention to that. Now. <laughs> yeah, you're in Korea. Every house has a murder yeah. in it. Yeah. yeah. Shut the fuck up. Buy this house. Now you want to close at the end of the month? Or maybe <laughs> next week. Even poverty is beautiful in this one. But look, this, this, this really shitty street or, or town that they're supposed to, or, you know, the block that they're living on. Yeah, I mean it's I, it's shitty, but it looks great at night. You know, the it lighting does, is amazing. It, yeah, you know, no, you're right. You're right. You're like, I, I don't know, I could get a an Airbnb there for yeah, just for a, a night. For, yeah, yeah. For, for a night. I yeah. mean, I'll, you know, I'm gonna be shitting like this. <laughs> I, know? Know, I know, I know. You, you get me see that, you'd be like, what? <laughs> yeah. How did you get shit all over the walls while I was bent over like this? <laughs> I had no choice. I mean, it's, it's speak, and, and as bad as how they live is. Something happens later that just makes it all that much worse. Oh, just way worse. Ooh, way, way worse. Ugh, I, my flesh was crawling. I mean, I'm not even, it's not even violent. It's just no, so disgusting. It's, disgusting. it's like, ugh. you're like, how could this get worse? <laughs> oh, well, just hold on. Oh, shit. I mean, more than, look, more than the violence in the movie, I'm thinking about this thing that happened, which is just nasty. And I'm just like, I mean, that's shit I can't handle right mm -hmm. there. Uh, but as far as a complaint with this goes, I think that my biggest complaint with it is that. 
there's uh, as unpredictable as the movie is, there's one particular thing that happens that I said this is this is a uh, this is a setup. And this is too much of a setup, and, and it's not a bad setup, but it's mm. the way things are going. This is a setup to where this this is going to reach a predictable point. I can't tell you what it is, but huh. I said I, I can. More than likely, this is going to happen, mm-hmm. and it did. Uh, I got one complaint. What what is it? I just hate reading subtitles. I'll do it, but <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was dubbed. <laughs> I, I I don't mind reading subtitles, but the only it's not because I'm lazy. It just takes away from me looking at the movie exactly. And I really want to see what's happening because yeah. it's a girl. It's a gorgeous mm-hmm. film, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's so well put together. It really is. The hype around this movie. I mean, I'm you know you know us. We don't we don't buy into it. <laughs> no, I'm usually the opposite. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I had to watch this because I you know I go in trying to fight it. Shit ain't gonna fool me. Shit, I know what's up. <laughs> you know? Oh, festival audience, yeah, they yeah. love everything. Yeah, f- up shit, I ain't I ain't like y'all. <laughs> I'm my own man. <laughs> 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 but, <laughs> but I watched this man and I thought, uh-huh. damn, this is good. Uh-huh. I was engrossed. This is this is uh two hours and twelve minutes, really two hours and nine if you don't really count, count the credits. And I was so drawn into this. It when it's thrilling, it's thrilling. When it's emotional, it's emotional. When it's funny, it's funny. I love the way they kept talking about that little kid's artwork. I know. <laughs> little kid's <laughs> shitty oh, art. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. There was so much going on in this movie, and it's all so so well put together to to, to actually to, to to actually combine to make one sensible thing. But yeah, man, this is a high full price for me. High full price here also. Yeah, I really love this film, man. It's it's such a well crafted film. Man, as far as like best foreign films, this is the one to beat. Yeah, yeah. I, I usually when they give somebody the Palm d'Or, uh, I ain't been I, listen. I ain't been behind a movie that got the Palm d'Or since Pulp Fiction. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They've been bullshitting all that. I know. Years, but th- this this yeah this deserved it, man. I highly recommend this movie if you get it uh, if you get a chance to see it and. It's been out for a while. It you know we get a screening of it tomorrow. Here's the funny thing is, they they have a screening of this tomorrow, mm-hmm. but it's the shit's already out. I know it's out in uh, in so many other cities. It's out in Austin. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, I looked today and they said it's showing at seven p.m. What? But yeah, <laughs> wah, wah. yeah these Koreans got us confused. <laughs> and yeah, maybe something was lost in translation, man. Okay. I don't know. All right, <laughs> but yeah, so it's out. You can see it. We recommend that you go see it. Highly. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks for watching to the end. I appreciate that. And since you're sticking around, you might as well stay and hit that subscribe button. Also, get notifications. And since you really love us that much, check out our main site, DoubleToaster.com. Over there, you'll find the long version of this video, along with the live streams that we do almost every night of the week. Support us at our store, DTMerch.com. And remember to always stay